Ya en... <laughs> All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to America House. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for joining us. We're really excited about this program, Own It, Women in Business Leadership. So we're glad that you joined us this evening. Um, before we start, I forgot that I need a headset. <laughs> um, just a second. So tonight is the second session of Own It, uh, Women in Business Leadership. We decided to call this program Own It because it's about women owning their career, women owning their uh, decisions, their choices, their goals, um, and taking ownership of their decisions in their lives. So tonight we have three very impressive businesswomen here who are eager to share and, and to inspire and to empower the future of business leadership in Ukraine. This event is all about women helping each other. It's all about collaboration. It's, um, it's not about competition. It's based on the idea that the more we share with each other about our experiences, about our knowledge, the bigger the pie increases and the more that we can all be successful. So the focus of this evening's event is going to be about preparation and about how focusing on your and, and focus turns your opportunities into reality. And I also want to focus this evening on the importance of focusing on what you want and what your goals are instead of focusing on the roadblocks or the problems or the challenges. Um, we're going to discuss how successful women choose their definition of success, how they create a plan, and how they evaluate their progress. The framework of this program and the framework of tonight's event is based on a body of research conducted by a woman named Rania Anderson. She's an American. Um, she's one of the world's leading experts on the professional advancement of women in emerging and growth economies. So Rania traveled all over the world to over 100 different countries interviewing successful business women in growth economies, economies like Ukraine. Okay, and she's been to Eastern Europe, to Asia, Africa, South Africa, Europe, all over the world. And she found that no matter what culture they were from, no matter what the political situation was in the country, they all shared the same group of habits that made them successful. And she wrote a book, it's called um, Undeterred, the Six Habits of success, Successful Women in Emerging Economies. And this is the first career advice book specifically for women in growth economies. Um, and it outlines the six habits that she determined. So tonight we're focusing on one habit, which is focus. We're focusing on focus. Very nice. Um, <laughs> Rania was here actually in February at America House. She gave some great programs about networking, about um, her book. And during her visit, we had this idea to start this program, to begin speaking with uh, women in Ukraine who are successful and sharing their experiences. So even though the women today were not interviewed in the book, um, they are living the habits of this book every day. And so they're here to share their stories with you and to tell, them about their, to tell you about their own lives. Uh, but just to get us started, to kick off the event, we have a special treat. Um, Rania, the author of our book, is joining us virtually from Chicago. So, and she wanted to say hello to you all and to tell you a little bit more about her research and about her work before we start our conversation. So, shall we try to give Rania a call? Maybe if you ladies want to, we could just stand up because it's going to be on the big stream. Yeah. So there she is. <laughs> Hello, Rania. Hey, Christine. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks. It's great to be with you all again. Thanks for joining us this evening. I just told everybody a little bit about your research, about the book you wrote, and how you know this the six habits of successful women. And we're going to focus on one of the habits tonight on focus. Um, but we'd love to hear more from you about your involvement in the project and about your research and work. Wonderful. So everyone, thanks for coming out this evening and joining us online. Uh, this really is a response to feedback from 
people like you and all of you who are there tonight about wanting more information on how to specifically continue to advance and succeed in your careers. So when I was there in February, there was a lot of interest and a lot of questions from people. And uh, Christiane came up with this great idea for this talk show. And we are bringing together three perspectives for you. The first is the global perspective that Christiane talked about uh, from my book, Undeterred. The second is uh, the local perspective, and that's our fabulous panelists that are here with you tonight. And the third perspective, and I would say it's the most important one, is you. So we're um, providing a way for you to ask questions online. I'm going to be staying online the whole time and answering questions if you have them. Uh, you'll get a chance to talk with the panelists for questions. And then uh, we have a handout for you to do some individual work yourself. You guys have it. Everybody with has the handouts, yeah? Yeah. Without this work that, you know, if you don't do the, the application to yourself, then it was a nice evening and you heard a lot of great stuff, but nothing really happens without you taking action. So I encourage you to do that. So just another minute about focus, and then I'll sign off um, on video and, and join the group online. So focus is about uh, being focused, knowing it has three components, choosing what you want to do, creating a plan to get what you want, and then checking on your plan, making sure that this is still what you want, that what you thought you wanted is really the direction you want to go in. And with so many opportunities available, I find that people sometimes think they should just be open to the opportunity, that they don't need to have their own plan because all kinds of things happen. And I would say that's not correct. You want to do both. You want to have your own plan to be pursuing a specific direction and still be open to ideas that come along the way. Uh, lastly, you want to focus on the direction you're going, not what's standing in the way. A lot of There's going to be a lot of obstacles and barriers getting in your way. And if you keep looking at those things, you, you won't keep moving forward. And if you look for the path ahead, which is what our panelists are going to talk to you about tonight, how they found a path ahead for themselves, you'll find, find your own. So thanks for uh, having me on. Thanks for your interest. Uh, I'd love to hear all about your careers and what you're doing. And I'm going to sign up and be online to answer questions. Feel free to... Even if you're there in the audience, if you have a question, feel free to send it to me. Um, tweet out questions. You know, be participating as much as you possibly can. Great. Have a great time, Christiane. Thank you. Thanks, Rania. Bye. 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 Okay. Bye, Rania. <laughs> All right, ladies, if you could come back up. Um, so. As Rania mentioned, um, I really want this evening to be interactive. It's not, you're not here to just sit back and listen and um, relax for this. No relaxing. So everybody has a handout. Um, on the front, of course, we have uh, information about our panelists. On the back, I have a worksheet for you. Uh, and as Rania said, this is your chance to take what you're hearing tonight, what we're discussing, and think about how it applies to your own life. Um, so there are several questions about how to choose. What do you want to be? What do you want to be known for? Why? What does success mean to you? Um, how are you going to create your plan? What do you need to do to achieve your goals? And then how are you going to check on yourself as you go through? So I really want you to... Take notes while, while you're listening. Um, take it home with you. Spend some time you know, this evening. Take, 
glass of wine or a cup of tea <laughs> and, and think about, take some time to reflect. It's really important for everybody to incorporate that into their lives and hopefully this evening you'll get some inspiration. Um, also, as, Ma, as Rania mentioned, um, everything, uh, we're live streaming this online so we have our audience here but we also have a virtual audience that's joining us and I encourage you to tweet about what you're hearing tonight, to post questions online, to engage in the conversation there. Um, if you have any questions to Rania, um, not specifically to the panelists, but maybe you want to hear something from her, put it in the Facebook video. She's actually there right now following it. So she's going to be reading whatever you guys are posting and answering. And if you have something specific to her, feel free to say, hey, Rania, you know, so she knows that it's a question for her. Um, and then before we begin tonight, before we start with any of the questions, does everybody have a pen? You all have a pen? Okay. Oh, no. Do we have any extra pens? We will help you out. For We have extra pens. If you don't have a pen, raise your hand. We'll bring them around. On this handout that you have, um, you also have this uh, post-it note, but that's for later. Somewhere on the back of the handout, write down one thing you came here to learn tonight. Everybody came here for some reason, right? No one is here because they're forced to be here. This is a public free space. So there must be a reason that brought you to America House tonight. I want you to write down one thing you would like to learn this evening. And I'll give you a second to think about that. So the form, as you're thinking, as you're writing, the format for our evening is for the first uh, about 30 minutes now, we have some questions. I have prepared some questions to our panelists based on this theme of focus. Um, and they're going to share their stories with you. And then after that, we'll break out into smaller groups. So you all have a chance to meet one of our panelists and ask them whatever questions you have and to have more of a small group conversation to discuss this topic, OK? Sound like a plan? All right, so now it is my pleasure to introduce you to this evening's panelist. With me, we have Marina Rimarenko, uh, who is the Partner for Strategic Development, Investments, and Hospitality at DEOL Partner. Or do you say DEOL? DEOL. DEOL, at DEOL Partners. Now, on the, on the handout, you see uh, uh, Marina's very impressive bio. But maybe what you didn't know about Marina is that when she was young, she was an avid harp player. She studied how to be a harp uh, musician. You all know harp? Yak se bude ukrainsko? Harp. Okay. <laughs> so, so being a, a student of harp as a child, there were only, she told me there were only 10 harps in all of Kyiv. So if you wanted to learn how to play this, you had to go every day, you had a specific time to play, and if you missed your time, there was another student practicing. So you couldn't be late, you couldn't miss any practices, and she did this for every, every day, right, for years. Um, and eventually, Marina realized that she would much rather go into marketing and business, so, so, so she started her professional career. But what she told me is that experience, actually, as a young, um, a young girl, really trained her in focusing on and developing the habit of practicing what you want to be good at. And she's taken that with her throughout her life and her professional career. So ladies and gentlemen, Marina Rimarenko. Our next speaker this evening is Alona Nevme... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try. Uh, Nevmerzinska. Yes. yes. <laughs> Alona is the commercial director of Kyiv Post. This is the English language newspaper here in Kyiv. Um, and Alona, I, again, you can read her, her bio on the handout, but Alona tells me that she wakes up at 7 a.m. every morning to go to the gym. So this is the way that she, um, she gets her energy in the day. We were talking about different ways that we get inspiration and motivation to get through all of the tasks and all of our goals. And she said what helps her is getting up early every morning and going to the gym. 
And she also told me that she likes to read. Um, so she's always looking for books to read that give inspiration and motivation. Um, so, so literature that will help her in her life. Yes. So ladies and gentlemen, Alona. <laughs> and finally, we have Olena Korczynska. Yeah. Did I say it right? Yes. Yes, good. <laughs> she's the general director of Pilot Travel. Um, and again, you can read her bio here, um, but Ilona told me in addition that she's working a lot of hours uh, running her business, and she has two daughters, and for her it's really important to have this time with family and for, for work. So she started, she realized she didn't have any time to spend with her family, and this is no good. So she started with a habit um, with her daughters to do oil paintings on the weekends. So now every weekend, you and your daughters are oil painters in addition to being a business director. <laughs> so, um, and, and her plan for this summer is to take on a new challenge of learning to ride the bicycle. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, so. <laughs> but I think it's also, you know, it's really, it really points out how important it is to take on new challenges. And, and um, Elena was telling me how this, this you know, Thinking of something you don't know that's not related to your work and working on it, it really helps you also with your career goals. So, so thank you, uh, thank you all for being here this evening for joining our panel. Um, I'm going to start. Actually, we talked about how focus begins with defining your version of success, and so I'd like to ask each of you. Um, you know, all of us have our own definition of success. I'm sure my definition of success is different from yours, is different from yours, and that's great. We all have our own version. It doesn't mean one is better than the other. So to start, I want to ask you what your definition of success is, and we'll start with Marina. Uh, first of all, Christy, thank you very much for inviting us and to having us here tonight. Uh, it's, um, for me, you said what question should I, everyone write to, uh, why we're here, I think uh, one is uh, to share what mm -hmm. I'm um, doing and to inspire maybe by answers uh, some young ladies uh, to develop their careers, but also to find out more from audience uh, what they're living with, so what their careers challenges is, and to get some new information for myself. Uh, so the question of defining success, I think it's very difficult one, <laughs> I need to say, and uh, there is even for myself no one definition, but I would say um, developing one of our brands, uh, a story, uh, it's for 11 mirrors, what is stands behind, we have 11 uh, reflections of uh, accomplished personality, and the final one is harmony. So that mm -hmm. uh, defines 10 others. And uh, harmony, it means that you are relaxed at home with your babies. You are fine doing with your job and uh, working many hours. You are healthy. You are um, enjoying your free time and life and can travel. So all this together probably is a success for me. Uh, because like small awards, for example, last night we received a award for uh, the best hotel operator company in Ukraine uh, for our reputation. And it's actually a award for the team, for mm -hmm. my team, not for the brand or mm -hmm. for our uh, financial result, just for the teamwork. So it's a great one, but it's a small, tiny piece and it's not success. It's just uh, proof of what we do in mm -hmm. every day. But success is, is everyone happy around us and we together come into this goal. So I think harmony in every piece of life, it's a success mm -hmm. for me. Like balance of balance. The, yeah. But I also think maybe this award, it's more proof of the success. It's not the success itself, but it demonstrates that you're having success in your team. I s uh, yes, it's little one, but you know, because you're working so hard, so you, <laughs> you don't have time to celebrate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when you're thinking, oh, is it success for somebody? It is from outside, but uh -huh. from you inside, because, okay, it's uh, this day gone, and it's next yeah. coming, and you have new challenges. <laughs> so it's like, you know, it's a small piece. It's uh -huh. not a uh, success, but yeah. success when every day you come in with smile to work, you enjoy uh -huh people that you work in uh, with uh, and coming back uh, home running there to see your family to read mm -hmm. book with a uh, child so it's I think this whole picture is success for me great thank you yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so Alona what what does success look like or mean to you yeah as you said success is a, is this word that is very su object a subjective one so that is why, um, for me, success is um, 
when you are loving what you're doing and uh, it this may sound very simple like oh the person loves what he or she would what they are doing but um, we all know that success um, uh, it it costs a lot uh, when we are w going to work yes and this is very important to be uh, satisfied with what you are doing and choose the right uh, activity in your life. Also, for me, success is also, um, when I look at the successful woman, for me, it's important to, uh, I, call, I can call her successful if she is not successful only in business or at work. Whenever she is happy with her personal, like uh, with, uh, with her family, when she can travel whenever she wants. So um, uh, this is really important uh, when the person is very, like full <laughs> full of himself and uh yeah and this may sound very um uh, selfish but still this is very important to uh yeah but uh, i'm not talking about um my uh, work now i mean about the kiev post because we were uh, told that now here we are talking about ourselves of course i cannot not mention the kiev post in in my uh, professional growth because but there will be later. <laughs> it's later. <laughs> but you can talk about your work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, success is when you are happy in all spheres, in all like um, parts of your life, when you are healthy, when you are wealthy, when you are wise. <laughs> this, uh -huh. is, this is important. Like you're fulfilled. Not, like, not full of yourself, but fulfilled in all areas. Yeah, Thank okay. You. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So one more thank you to the Christie. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. It is very, we are very proud to be here. Mm -hmm. And thank you all for coming. Um, I think that question is very simple, but the answer is a little bit like the same, you know. Because for me, uh, the success, it is, uh, it is also about the feeling. It means that you are feeling very well at your job. If you are proud, about the results of your job, if you are loving your family. And uh, it is also, for me, what is very important, this is uh, the people which are surround you. It is your friends, it is your colleagues. Uh, and uh, I'm very proud to be here in such nice <laughs> <laughs> ladies' company tonight. And. Uh, in such a big ladies and gentlemen's company also. So thank you very much once more. And talking uh, professionally about the success, uh, uh, I have um, have attended uh, some seminars and I have eight uh, points about your life. In um, it's, it's like a field where you may check your su success. It is help. Of course, it is relation, it means family, uh, family friends, and also environment, um, brightness of life, as you told, mm -hmm. it is about travel, uh, well-being, mission, and I think one of the most important, it is the self-improvement. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I think, you know, we keep talking about different areas of our life. It's not about work, and that theme keeps coming up that our success is not just our job or the awards we get or the success of our company. It's about our personal success. Um, so now I have some questions for each of you that I'll be asking, and I thought I'd start with Alona. You were telling us about your work at Cube Post. Um, and we said, you know, well, this event is about Alona as a person, but of course, work is a big role in it. Um, did you know early on what you wanted to do in your career, or how did you discover what you wanted to do? I think I never know what I want. I mean, uh, when I was choosing uh, what to, uh, even my education, uh, I think everybody in the room, they were having the lots of uh, universities to go to study and they were like oh, I want to be a lawyer uh, for example from um, me personally I always always change in my mind if I want to be a lawyer if I want to be a marketing person if I want to be uh, something else somebody else but um, about work uh, no I, I, know, I didn't know but I think uh, I knew for sure uh, and I feel uh, like it's natural thing for me to communicate with people 
uh, I feel uh, uh, that it comes naturally for me to network, to gain new friends, like, mm -hmm. and I think that I realized that uh, this like selling things mm -hmm. uh, would be good for me. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, when I got made it to the uh, to the Kiev post where I work, it was like mm, at first I think everybody has this strange feeling when they have a new place and like mm, maybe this is not what I need. Maybe this is maybe I need to 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 learn to find something else. But then, uh, step by step, I realized, yes, this this place has very big mission. And for me, it, it's always important when the person is asking me, what do you do? And when I answer, I, I answer with passion. I answer, and I'm very passionate about what I'm doing. For example, um, and, I, and for me, it's very important to have a job and to be occupied in the area where you would be proud and uh, that you are a part of this organization. So uh, this is why mm, I started, like I first uh, realized how important the place where I am uh, for me is and then I started um, put like setting up my goals and, mm -hmm. and purposes at this organization. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm young, I'm still under my 30 years old, and, um, and when I came uh, and started, like, showing my ambitions, uh, some, my, for, for that moment, the, the person who was my boss, he said, you are too, too small, you are too, uh, too young, not experienced, <laughs> this, yeah. But then, in two years, I was promoted to the, uh, to the uh, position of commercial director, it's just because I was very uh, focused, Mm -hmm. <laughs> topic of our <laughs> union today. <laughs> I was focused. I was. I really um, knew that I want to show good results. I want to deliver gro good results, and I n never stopped uh, learning. And uh, as I said, yes, I read lots of motivation books, and uh, I try to meet new people that would be very like motivational for me. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, at the, this focus, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, the first, uh, I think uh, this Dale Carnegie, uh, uh, seven, uh, seven, seven, seven of yes, successful uh, people. Kovi, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus the uh, Carnegie also. Как да, вот это его популярная книжка. Living, yes. And uh, also, I read uh, a book. Uh, I read a book about uh, about this uh, networking. How to? Uh, there is a book very famous now. Uh, you should not eat alone, but, uh, mm -hmm. uh, never, but eat network, alone. Ne never eat alone uh -huh. and network. Uh -huh. Yeah. So um, and um, uh, and many others. I mean. Um, I can uh, I can uh, send you the the list. I mean, truly, I can. Uh, I have it in my uh, at home a whole library, <laughs> so, and I'm sharing books er with my uh, colleagues because I want my team to grow as well. Because maybe you could I share some of them on the event too. So uh, because all of you are probably on the Facebook group. Yeah. If you want to just if yeah, you could yeah. post that, that would be great. Then we can yes, all have yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, uh, this is, yeah, and I'm sure if you have your purpose and if you don't listen to what, like, people tell you, like I was said, not experienced and not, not um, super <laughs> tall and <laughs> so this, that means that That's you will thing. not, yeah, that <laughs> you will not. Somebody super tall, who's tall, that, that you're too tall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, but this is what I faced, really, mm -hmm. and, um, and I don't want anybody, small little women, never, never think that you will not be able to achieve your goals if you are not tall enough. Or <laughs> <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> I'm Thank wondering you. who told you you are you are too tall and you will oh, not. <laughs> yeah, can you can you? Yeah. Uh, they are very. Uh, um, um, so you know, it's it started from the school. I can say. That I I I have I've grown uh, then um, I am one meter and eighty one centimeter and uh, I um, 
I'm uh, I'm living with such uh, lens, yeah, S le mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, lens from 14 years. Like, so I oh, was very height, tall. Yes, yeah. uh, uh, with uh, with my height from 14 years, and I uh, you you may imagine, and especially all the boys in 14 years, they're too much <laughs> smaller. They were too much smaller than I, and so it's uh, it's little bit. Uh, it, it was little bit difficult uh, in uh, student life. I can say that uh, uh, people uh, uh, started mention my uh, uh, high. Uh, hi highest hate hate uh, my hate uh -huh. sorry uh, 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 mention my hate less but it also was like a problem you know uh, you are uh, not, like not uh, a simple one you know you are like um, I don't know uh -huh. so um, so you 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 are always uh, were feeling that you are a little bit too uh, too tall than enough. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so I understand you very well. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's crazy that we're, we're, we struggle with all of these things that shouldn't have anything to do with our professional life, but it does come into challenges or negative feedback that you, know, you can't let get in the way, you can't let that be your focus. Um, so my next question is to Marina. Um, Marina, why is this what you're doing now, why is this what you want to do and what motivates you in your career? Uh, to answer first question, uh, also at school time, uh, first of all, I at nine le uh, ninth year, I've heard about word marketing management. So it was very new back then. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started to think what is marketing, to read a little bit more, but was concentrated mainly on um, maybe foreign education or something like that. I was preparing to enter Christian University. Uh, but uh, then I had uh, very good results at school and I can go for interview to the university where I've been uh, for marketing. And interview, it's actually exam that you're doing in uh, four exams in one hour. So and one of them was marketing. So before, mm -hmm. in four days, I needed to read a book. Uh, Kotler was too, oh, well. <laughs> too big. I found some smaller uh, orange book, as I remember, because my mom was doing second uh, education, and she has some smaller book about marketing that I could read um, uh, for days. Uh, and I was lucky uh, to be in university for free, so back then it was very good <laughs> and cheap yeah. for my family, <laughs> obviously. And uh, I came first day in university. Uh, we was lucky. We had uh, excursion to the central department sto uh, stores, Zoom, that old one. Now it's new one. Uh, but um, on third day, when I found out that uh, for two years we'll be studying like philosophy, so theology, history, or some mm. um, some subjects that already have been at school, no marketing. I was really disappointed because I already read the books. So I was motivated to find out more but it's like was strange and uh, I started to uh, search uh, where I can find more information about it and what courses I can go so it was not so much back then uh, in uh, 1999 uh, so I found a PR school so it was a uh, little one then and it was he here in Kiev here in Kiev uh -huh. it was the first year and it was like a uh, woman back then and men that was much, much older than me. Uh, and uh, it was really interesting because in one year I got to uh, know uh, not maybe so much about marketing, but mm -hmm. more about PR. And then I found uh, in Japanese center uh, courses uh, on marketing and I was lucky to visit it uh, twice. So marketing in um, in production and I seen marketing in retail. So very old uh, gentleman from uh, Japan. He was I think 76 years old and was preparing to come into Ukraine for four months running every day and swimming because for health reasons he mm -hmm. needs to do it. But it was very useful because being a student like on second year, I was sitting with marketing managers from big companies and uh, first of all knowing them. Uh, secondly, actually knowing about my topic. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, I, I, on the process of it, I like it a lot. So I find out that it's probably my life, my passion. And right now, when uh, after 10 years, 15 years, when I'm um, regularly visiting my university, I'm head of uh, this governmental um, uh, exams. Uh, when I don't see uh, passion in the eyes and love to the work, uh, to the subject they're choosing and sp 
wasting five years of your life? Why? You mm -hmm. know the question. So that's why uh, I would say the marketing found me in some way, but mm -hmm. I think somewhere it took you, on took you yeah, but you somewhere in yeah. my uh, how would say in my brains it was because I always like uh, advertisement and magazines. I was like keeping some magazines like L from 1982 actually mm -hmm. I have and later so I'm collecting this old advertisement just to see maybe to show later when I will be teaching yeah. in university maybe how it was developing so it always wasn't me but I wasn't realizing till mm -hmm. maybe uh, first and second year in university that it's uh, what I really love and then when you love in it it's coming mm -hmm. very easily so, so what is it about marketing that motivates you? That, you know, everything. everything like, it seems to be, it captured your attention and you just yes, got because, more uh, and more. Marketing is about everything. It's about product, it's about people, it's about distribution channels that you're using, it's about creativity, it's about research as well. So you can imply all the aspects of our marketing and put even more on top if you want. Uh -huh. Because uh, right now I'm responsible in a company for many questions I'm a, a partner right now I'm a responsible a managing partner while our managing partner is abroad so you're responsible for everything if you love what you're doing mm -hmm. and so if you say this is marketing so it will be marketing <laughs> uh, legal <laughs> guy saying it's legal question but uh, let's s look at from the point of view marketing you know? <laughs> 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 and in the end you know you're taking more and more space in the company and then there is no uh, question that uh, marketing is the most important <laughs> 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 but uh, it's maybe because you uh, you motivated uh, yeah. uh, by it and uh, you uh, never stops you always looking around what's uh, different because um, uh, sometimes people say oh i'm responsible for pr and look only like that or i'm responsible mm -hmm. for research i will look like that for me marketing and pr it's always uh, uh, looking 360 degrees and mm -hmm. then you are real uh, marketing person mm -hmm. it's maybe i need to don't need to be so long you were saying two minutes for oh, questions no, no. <laughs> for no you answers. have to you have to yes, speak into the course, microphone or the I'm otherwise sorry. the translator i'm really hear. sorry that's i will all. be doing <laughs> <laughs> that's so the reason i hope i answered uh, the yeah, question yeah it sounds like it's you know marketing captured your attention and you decided to just keep learning more and more but now what you've done is shared your passion with others. <laughs> yes, but uh, I need to say I'm never stopped because in marketing you can't be stopped. It's, we live in so changing times that you can't be outdated. So there is like uh, from 15 years, we didn't have any social media, now we have it. Uh, it's it's now, yesterday challenge. was this first call with a uh, person that is hologramma, you know, and uh, we need to understand how we need to be dealing in future. Or today when we was uh, driving uh, in uh, traffic, discussing with the taxi drivers that uh, soon cars will be flying, or uh -huh. in two <laughs> years time it will be this device that will charge your car in uh, five minutes for a thousand kilometers. Yeah. So the changing so uh, quickly that you can't be stopped with it. So uh -huh. you need never can uh, stop learning. Uh -huh. This is uh, very important. It keeps your brain cells working every day. And it sounds like that's what motivates you about marketing too, is that it's you're never done learning. It's is never it? like, oh, I learned marketing. I'm done because yes. it's always changing. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> So uh, my next question is for Elena. Um, with regards to your career, we talk about how you know we have to choose what is it that motivates us. We have to create our plan, how we're going to get through it. Um, and then it's also important to evaluate and readjust. So how do you check in with yourself to determine if what you're doing in your career is still what you want to do? You know, for me, uh, it is also important to check everything because being a general manager, you have to, you're responsible for everything, uh, for marketing, for PR, for loyals, for operations, uh, and for everything. And uh, we have a lot of um, gadgets now and we can check everything. So I mean that I'm also putting everything in calendar and uh, I'm checking my calendar uh, uh, minimum a few times per day. And uh, tonight I am just trying to, I have, before it was only one note for my job. <laughs> now uh, I have another one. This is one for my family <laughs> and for me, <laughs> yeah. 
uh, it is a big surprise for my daughter. She is here. <laughs> 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 but yes, that's true. I'm trying to note uh, every important moment and I am making notes each evening, like obviously, uh, and I'm making a plan for the next day. And uh, it is very important to make like point by point everything on your notes, just to starting your morning from the right things. Because if you have a lot of things to do, you uh, it's not enough just making a list of them. It's mu uh, it's much more important to uh, evaluate them. You know, the most important thing you have to do, for example, for me, and I think for the most of of the people, uh, from the early morning, I'm starting starting my job at 8 a.m. or at 8.30 p.m. And uh, my working day is about 12 hour hours each day because we are a quite big company. We have a lot of branches and uh, from the last year we have an operation even in United States. It's Miami, Florida. And uh, you know, uh, we have a time difference. It is seven hours okay. and it means that uh, you are starting your morning by Ukrainian time and you finish your job by uh, Miami time. <laughs> That's it's it's uh, it's also challenging. But uh, and I recommend to every one of you just uh, have written all your goals in different directions. It could be like for for me, like let's say for for my daughters, like let's say. So it's um, they are studying. It means that uh, they are uh, the pro uh, the uh, the subjects they have to. E improve like uh, math like <laughs> 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 chemistry <laughs> um, it's something about uh, um, uh, creating the things uh, yes we are doing oil painting and also we are singing songs and we uh, they um, one of my daughters uh, she is playing guitar and another one dream about piano so the piano with minus is written in my note and I hope in a few weeks it will be with plus you know <laughs> so this is it's like it's like I'm doing the things and I'm checking them uh, globally of course you have to just uh, put uh, of course it's it's everyday goals but you have to create for yourself your long um, long-term uh, uh, long goals and uh, you, uh, from your long-term goals, you have to just uh, divide it on the short-term goals and then just put it like a plan. It, it, you are very needed uh, to going forward uh, such kind of plan. This is my mind. So it sounds like you're using these notebooks to do sort of daily to-do lists, but also yeah. long-term goals that you can keep checking back, like what's the status of yeah. this, what's the... Yeah. So because if you we uh, we were talking about the strategic planning yeah. yeah this is the main goals you would like to achieve and from the your main goals uh, you start your education goals your maybe family goals your uh, then everyday goals and uh, then you will see that you are uh, moving forward mm -hmm. to them great thank you, thank you. <laughs> and i think it's a great example actually to show because you know, we all can ha create our own system. And most important is what, whatever system you create works for you. And this is a great example of what works really well for you, Elena. Um, and maybe for others, it will inspire you for your, your systems. Um, OK, so my next question this evening is for Alona. Um, Alona, did you create a career plan? <laughs> and and how, if so, how did you implement it? Uh, so yeah, when um, actually uh, the place where I work now, this is my second uh, employer, uh, because um, uh, at uh, my first uh, job where I was working, uh, there was a small representative office in Ukraine. This that was a Canadian aircraft manufacturing company, and and it was impossible to create a career plan when there are three people at the office. Uh, but uh, here, um, that was th as this is my second place and very important one for the moment. Uh, yes, uh, I not from the first day, but mm -hmm. yes, I created this plan. 
I was working very hard. I was, I'd never worked uh, from nine till six. This is, um, I'll tell you definitely. If you want to be successful, never, you'll never work from nine till six. This is, <laughs> forget about it if you want to, if you want to, to, to be, not famous, but... but <laughs> <laughs> what about the Saturdays? And Saturdays, yeah. <laughs> You are, um, I'm still trying, I'm, uh, and you know, I need, I think I need to uh, get some advice on how to have this work life balance because, uh, if you want to be successful, work will uh, take over always. Uh, it's always like on the weekend, uh, on holidays, uh, even if you are traveling, you are always. Online, my friends can't can't uh, go on vacation with me. They are like, Alona, please turn off your phone. <laughs> Forget you are uh, you are on vacation. Yeah. So yeah, um, uh, my career, yeah, I I planned it, and uh, in order to achieve it, um, it was um, it was hard to uh, for me to delegate at first uh, my uh, my obligations, everything. You know, I always I always know that. I can do the best. I can. I can handle it, on, mm -hmm. and only I can do it. No, you, you. I started learning how to to engage people to and, and that will, yeah. will help you, and this is very important because in, in implementing your career uh, growth, you need to you need to. You need time for that. Actually, time, yeah, <laughs> and uh, so. Um, what else to say about um, this? Yeah, you need to uh, like, and I believe that um, without planning, uh, you will not be able to to achieve. You need to. It's clear that if you have something in your mind, you um, uh, visualize this idea of being where you want to be. And this is important to uh, to uh, for the for the career to plan and uh, to achieve what you uh, what implement. Yeah. This will help. This it, it sometimes it comes some in, in some magic way. If you are planning setting up uh, high goals, some universe is sometimes <laughs> helping. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Last words uh, because it's he was asking to prepare examples uh -huh. and our stories. Uh, we definitely use this um, method in our office in our sales and marketing department visualization what mm -hmm. we want to achieve. We put it on the board so our office look like big board. Mm -hmm. Everyone put in what they want and the girls and uh, have majority of girls working in sales and marketing mm -hmm. and they wanted really that uh, Jared let and thirty seconds for months uh, for Mars uh, staying in our hotel. Be honest, I know Jared Let, I didn't know the group that he's seen in, but never mind. <laughs> uh, they put it and like they was con not concentrated, but we were of course laughing, but visualizing it that we really want uh -huh. him. And uh, then they contacted us by themselves. They chose oh, our really? hotel by themselves. They stayed it with us. But I need to say this magic, as you're saying, yes. of universe. Uh -huh. uh, it's only one example, but we have many of them like that uh, working. So don't uh, laugh, but print what you want <laughs> to achieve. Mm -hmm. Put it on your wall, look at it, mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, um, so, uh, and it will be definitely happening. And sometimes even be afraid of you, what you wish wishing, because it might come true. <laughs> <laughs> Even more than you expect, <laughs> yeah, it's for sure. So, <laughs> so it really works. And uh, in our meetings, on our department, uh, <laughs> my colleague is laughing, but it's true. <laughs> it's it's really working, you know. Yeah. And uh, for long-term plans, when we have some questions or problems or even stuff so we visualizing it putting on the wall thinking maybe one year will pass maybe one mm -hmm. month will pass maybe one day we never know but it's really works so, so mood boards yeah, it's, it's a very a good method. tool to use like uh, mm -hmm. and planners but uh, mood boards will definitely helps well i think these mood boards i mean it seems like magic <laughs> but i think a lot of times it's because you articulated it and now you're thinking about it, and then when the opportunity is there, you can mm -hmm. you can take it. Whereas when you don't take the time to actually plan through, then you're not aware when those opportunities are there. Um, and actually, and I wanted to comment too on your 
uh, Alona, when you were saying about how you need to take time, you need to delegate this. I was actually talking to someone earlier today who said this is a really common problem, actually, especially for women, that um, we want to do everything. And we want to do everything really well. Uh, and so we just run around all day long, and we don't ever take time to think about what is it we really want to do <laughs> and how, how important it is to make that plan, to take time to make that plan, and to be able to like, let, mm -hmm. delegate, let other things go. So thank you for that great example, um, and thank you for the <laughs> I hope all of your guests, <laughs> your dream guests, come true. <laughs> Who's your next? Yeah. Who's your next? Who's the next guest? <laughs> we have Depeche Mode, but they smoke, so they won't be in our... Uh, uh, we have Depeche Mode, but they smoke uh, in our hotel. Not smoking as any other hotels, but oh. some allowed. <laughs> So I don't think they will be uh, yeah. staying with us, but uh, uh, Hertz uh, goes like, and some other groups that I really don't know. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm learning uh, pop culture as well with, <laughs> with, with them, I need to say. Great. <laughs> Thanks. Um, <laughs> Uh, Olena, I have a, a question for you. Uh, you were talking about your system as well and, um, and how you keep track and you check in. So have you ever had to just totally change the direction or the goals that you had, change what they were along the way? I've changed my goals from the beginning, from the early beginning, because by uh, my first education, I'm a teacher of math and computer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, started, uh, I've joined um, a travel company. I don't know, not a lot of people here in this room remember the SAM, SAM tra uh, travel agency, SAM. It was the first, yes, it was the first brand on Ukrainian uh, travel market after well known in tourist and Sputnik. And SAM was created by the uh, uh, former of Sputnik, and I joined. I joined the uh, this company, being the teacher of math and computer, and I was a receptionist because you know it was very new and. Um, some years ago, let's say. <laughs> there were no travel universities and travel faculties like like now we have a lot. And uh, each person in our company started uh, the career from the reception. In a few months I was uh, the manager of receptionists. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I was the uh, uh, manager of Greece, then the manager of Spain. Uh, then very eventually I've uh, joined the uh, airline ticket agency in some, and it was a very new experience for me. I, um, there were not a lot of people who are uh, talking English that time, and uh, I was promoted to the IATA course. And it, it is a very high level course, um, I finished it, but it was like, you know, a very, a very huge and high jump, <laughs> you know, into the future. Um, because I, 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 don't, I, I never even saw the airline tickets before first time I came to this course. So it was very challenging, very interesting, and uh, so then I've... Um, I finished uh, MBA school, um, International Institute of Business, here in Kiev, a very nice one. And uh, then they have a very special program. It was also MBA, but the Canadian University of New Brunswick, it was also very challenging. Uh, it was uh, totally English subjects, uh, a lot of finance subjects, about four. <laughs> so. Um, I'm thinking that I'm uh, like uh, I'm like salesperson, you know. But we have a lot of also marketing. I, I can uh, say that marketing and sales it's like all together now, and uh, you 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 can't sell without marketing, without PR. But um, you also need the marketing skills for sell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we we have it here. We have it here. 
all the professors from the University of New Brunswick, they visited Ukraine for a special session. We have a model, model system of education. To, uh, it was each month. We are studying five days, but totally from the morning till the late evening. No, no, no. It it, it was uh, it it based on the um, institute uh, international institute of business. So they they yeah yeah. So the question, sorry, because mm -hmm. um, for the TV they probably can't hear. Uh. The question was about whether or not the your university was in Canada or if no. they were coming here. No. And you said they were coming here, and it was not just for your specific company. Yeah. So, sorry. Yeah. We, but uh, the United States University, I know they are also very well, but I don't know, do they have already some MBA program here in Ukraine? Don't you know? Uh, not that I'm aware of. No, it's more um, exchange programs. Mm, yeah. Okay. But I'm not the expert on that, though, so <laughs> <laughs> be careful. Um, <laughs> yeah. no so, well, thank you. And I think that it's actually a good point you make because a lot of times it's easy for us to see um, you know, very successful women who are very accomplished and say, wow, it's so easy, it all just came to you like that, but it's, it's a challenge. Every step was a lot of work, um, and it's important to recognize that, um, those accomplishments. So uh, my next question is from Mar Marina. Um, can you tell us, have you had any pressure from other people to pursue or not to pursue what you wanted to do? You know, I don't think so because, uh, as you said, uh, let's based on our stories and mm -hmm. examples. So when I was going to school, my grandfather said that you are going to work, uh, and I really remember it very well that you need to ha uh, behave like at work. You need to um, pursue it like a work and uh, try hard because people are wasting their uh, time for you, mm -hmm. giving knowledge. So you need to, to um, behave it like at work. So I really remember it uh, because my grandfather left rather early and I uh, don't remember so well him, mm -hmm. but this uh, important stuff I remember and he was working from 7 a.m. in the morning till 9, even later, even after work many people was coming uh, to him, he was doing a cars, uh, so even he was managing uh, big uh, it was government, I don't know how it looks, uh, uh, first garage, uh, uh, in the city, but he was personally can do it physically as well, not only manage mm -hmm. uh, people. So from this example, I saw that uh, you can't be uh, forced to do something that you don't want. So if you want to work hard, uh, uh, you will do it by yourself. Uh, mm -hmm. So I don't remember in my mm, experience that somebody uh, was pursuing me to do what I don't want. Uh, of course, my family can advise. Mm -hmm. uh, and my mom uh, always was advising that, you know, uh, and doing examples that you like a train. So uh, the train needs time to get to the speed. So mm -hmm. don't worry at school that maybe something uh, is very difficult uh, on getting, like you know, physics or chemistry, even I don't use it in my uh, daily life, but I still think it's a very important uh, subject. So don't worry, it's like train, sooner or later it will come to the high, uh, high speed. And this maybe two very important advices that uh, I still uh, remember uh, from my grandfather uh, and my mom that uh, uh, using in different situations. So mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, if you have uh, your principles, uh, oh actually I remembered one now, and you have your principles, you always follow your principles. I was working in one company actually here on Pimanenka, our office okay. was, <laughs> and uh, we had a new uh, CEO coming and he was forcing to do uh, unfair, uh, unfair tenders and uh, to change a partner that we have for many years. And uh, I actually said, no, we won't be doing it because for many years we had the fair tenders. All the suppliers know how we will do it. And uh, me being uh, also personal brand, I won't do it. So yeah. uh, after two weeks, I've uh, left, changed company, and I'm now working for the, this company for 11 and a half years. So yeah. never change your principles because it's your personal reputation that you have, not company, but also personal, and you need to be responsible for both. 
but your decision uh, makes a very important uh, how you feel inside mm -hmm. and how you bring your uh, career history personally as well. So mm -hmm. never change to your principles. Thank you. Thanks. It's great. Uh, so we're, we're running short on time and I want to have a chance for the breakout sessions. But I do have a couple last questions for the three of you to answer. Um, I think a lot of times, you know, we, we, when people are just starting out in their career and maybe they fail at something or they try to do something and then they fail and it's, it can be very discouraging. Um, so I wanted to ask you, um, I'm sure there have been things that you wanted to accomplish that you haven't been able to do because we've all faced failures and we've all faced setbacks. How have you dealt with the setbacks or disappointments in your careers? And we can start with Olena and then... Um, you know, um, it's sometimes it's um, really you uh, wanted something and you, you can't achieve it. I think that... Um, I've already told about that what is very important for me that the people uh, which are around you that's uh, that means that if you have really friends uh, re real friends that means that you uh, may share with them with a lot of things and uh, such kind of things uh, I think it is important to share with some somebody you know because if you are feeling stressed and if you are just um, just feeling it uh, and uh, it, it is pain inside you, you know, you have to share the information, you have to discuss with somebody, mm -hmm. you have to just ask about some advice. And I'm, I just, um, uh, you know, we have some uh, very difficult situation al also in our country. You know, three years ago, our travel business, it's, uh, where is it? Yeah, it's, uh, um, it was on the very high level, but it's, it's dropped too much. And, you know, then we were thinking about how we may change the situation. Uh, we've uh, made a list of our very loyal clients and called them and asked them about uh, some help. Could they recommend us to somebody else, for example? The same things if you have a very difficult, situ uh, difficult situation, just ask your friends about the help. And uh, do not um, take it, um, just, just bring it outside of yourself. And I think it is very important. And so it helps me. Of course, not, uh, not each of your friends could give you a good advice in business, for example. But if you have someone, just ask. If you have no one, just ask best friends of you. Great. That's all. Thank, Thank you. you. So it sounds like... Uh, it's yeah when you're when you're feeling like you're fail w with failure not to take it internally but to be able to share it with people and then I also liked what you mentioned um, about thinking creatively um, when you have a failure or a setback how can you navigate it doesn't mean it's over it just means a new path yeah. so and you know uh, everybody makes mistakes uh, even we are and it is very important to understand your mistakes. And if you are really guilty, for example, yes, if it is, if you are, you have to say sorry. And it is also, you know, the um, maybe it, it is very important even not for the person um, f which, uh, which you make something wrong or I don't know, but it is very important for you. To, uh, to feel uh, like Marina already told, to just uh, uh, be um, <laughs> in a good mood with your feeling inside you. Harmony. Yeah. 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 Great. Thank you. Thank you. So, Ilona, what, how do you deal with setbacks? Uh, uh, how do I deal? I, was, uh, I remember how I was uh, the process of interviewing um, and how I was hired to to the place where I work now, it was, um, and I, when I was asked question, um, what uh, what will be your action if you you are like trying to 
find new clients, like to develop the business, and you are always uh, say, uh, hearing, no, no, we don't need, we, like, you know, this. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said one phrase, I will never give up. I will never, <laughs> I, will, uh, I will keep on going, keep on doing something, but I will never, uh, like, like, the more no's I get, the closer I am to the big and great yes. yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so this is my, um, this is how I think, and this is my uh, like positive uh, attitude to the uh, to the like disappointments, to the uh, to the setbacks. So um, I think that, uh, and I had um, a really the situation in my in my career, and it's uh, noted in my biography that. Last year, uh, our CEO she left for uh, to the Washington D.C. because mm -hmm. she lives there, and uh, we didn't have uh, we didn't find a person who would take over, and uh, I was uh, thinking like, oh, can I do that? Can I uh, maybe I should try myself to and uh, be in like for some time to try myself as an acting acting CEO mm -hmm. of the of the newspaper. And I met with our publisher. He's, uh, we, I presented him a plan for six, year, six months. Uh, and um, it was very, I was thinking about this very long time, like if I'm ready, if it's, it's, not, it's not easy decision, you know, to take the responsibility of running a business that is, you know, the a whole news, newsroom is working. The, you know, you are, you are just, thinking like you will be like their mom for uh, for <laughs> for some time yeah. and this is very it was not easy to uh to to make this decision but i said yeah i will i will do it because um uh, organization without leadership it it ha we should have somebody some like mm -hmm. leader and uh, i was uh, me and my team we were delivering very good result but there was a very big challenge because uh, we have projects we are doing we have like uh, different things and the two project managers that were working they left for some like for internships and uh, i didn't mind it but still i w i had to handle everything by myself i mean I tried to delegate, but it's not something that another part of my team has to do. That's why uh, it was very, I was, uh, it was not disappointment, but it was very big stress for myself. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, but I survived. And uh, my, one, my colleague, uh, he supported me very, very much in this, uh, in this case. And, and I had a big support from my friends and, and I, I dealt with it. So it was, it was success. <laughs> Yeah. So it sounds like it's, you know, not taking no from mm -hmm. clients or, you know, uh, people who are telling you no, mm -hmm. but also not taking no from yourself. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, you are thinking, oh, should I do this yes. CEO? No, I'm not ready. No, mm -hmm, I'm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. no, I'm not going to accept no. I will do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So great. Thank okay. you. Uh, and Marina. I wrote a few things that I want to, to say. So first of all, if it's really hard to cry. But then I'm always thinking, I will have wrinkles, uh, so why should I cry? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so crying helps, but uh, you don't want to have wrinkles, uh, <laughs> so it's very short cry. Uh, secondly, if you have a uh, like, uh, issue or problems that you need to think, uh, better to walk. Walk long or short in park, uh, church or whatever you want to walk, but think while you're walking. First of all, you're noticing other people, and sometimes you will find that maybe your, uh, your problem is really small compared to other people's problems. Or while you're working, you have a lot of fresh air that come into your brain, and uh, you will ha have a quick solution. And uh, always, uh, like I will support uh, Elena in uh, this question, you need to have support. So I'll strongly advise to have a family support, uh, your parents, your brothers, the sisters, that uh, always you can share. Maybe not a deeper problem of work, but just to say, oh, I feel tired, or I have a problem, or maybe you will listen and it will help me. Or for example, in my case, I have uh, already not li so little, but uh, used to be a very little baby, and I need to work, so I need to leave it with someone, and I have parents that supports me, and it really, really helps when I need to stay at work till late, or till 11, or 12, or on weekend. 
So I, I need to have support where to um, leave my baby with, but it could be any other issue that family can support you. And uh, only recently I found out about such tool, uh, it's called traffic light, that you can divide all your problems by um, categories. So the first category is not from traffic light, it's uh, called, um, not a nice word to say, I will say it in Russian, but excuse me for that, it's not my tool, it's called uh, figna. <laughs> <laughs> then, then it's like uh, green light, yellow light and red light. So believe me, in red light, it's very uh, exceptional things, like somebody unfortunately die or have a big problem with health. And it's happening, fortunately to many, very, very rare. So red one as well, uh, uh, yellow one as well, something very problematic and uh, maybe legal issue, so whatever. So we're facing this problem also very rare. So majority of problems are really very tiny, let's call it like that, and or green light. And when you see it in such uh, methodology, so majority of problems are very little, can be handled or not matter at all, or just green light. And when you're thinking even mentally about green light, you don't see it as a problem. And it's, uh, I started to, to think about it uh, more deeply, and believe me, uh, majority of things that is uh, happening it's could be sorted out tomorrow, or it's uh, opening a new door. So I think uh, all, all in these four points, I wanted to answer it. your yeah. question. Great. Thanks. And none of you said, well, then you should just quit. <laughs> if you have a disappointment, just quit. No. So uh, there are lots of different ways to approach it. And thanks for sharing your, your personal approach. Um, and one, like really quick, um, just in a few, two words, last piece of advice that you want to leave for the audience tonight. And we'll start with Marina. Uh, love what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, love and never, uh, never give up. Always be uh, positive and uh, develop, grow. Never stop uh, developing. This is important. Great. Um, for me, it is always never stop. Always goes forward and up. <laughs> and even if you will have some green light problems, uh, that means that you have to just uh, add a little bit speed. The more problems you have, the more speed you have to add. And everything will be very nice, believe me. Great. <laughs> Thank you. So thank you, ladies. Thank you for um, sharing your experiences. We do have an opportunity now for some small breakout discussion. Um, I want you, everybody, to take, now I lost my papers, this paper with you. Um, on it, you have a very important, brightly colored paper, which you will be using during the breakout session. So how it's going to work is about this, this third of the audience. I want you to stay here. Um, in, in this room, and you're going to be meeting with Alona. Um, the middle section, you guys, you're going to go downstairs to the gallery. You're going to meet with Marina. And this la final third of the room, you're going to go downstairs. Um, when you get down the stairs to the left, our tech lab, and you'll be meeting with Olena. So go ahead and, and you can move the chairs around to make it more of a, a circle. And this is just a chance for you to ask whatever questions you have to the panelists. Again, um, for panelists, you know, anything you're not comfortable sharing, that's fine. This is, you know, this is an open conversation, so feel free to share whatever you're open to. And otherwise, I'll be coming around and enjoy your conversations. Thank you. Thank you. No, I'll come and tell at the end. Yeah, it'll be at the